Hello again and welcome back to the channel. Relatively quick video for you today. A company called Tourit reached out to me a few days ago and asked if I would like to check out their messenger bag, cooler bag, sort of all-in-one commuter day trip type bag. So obviously, as you've seen, it is here. I am trying it out. But this is a product being offered through their Indiegogo campaign. It looks like they're trying to raise $20,000. It's a flexible goal, and they've got about 30 days left as of the time I'm filming this, so it might be a little bit less than that. It could be already over. So check the first link down in the description to see if it's still going on, if you're interested in it. So what is this bag? What makes it special and unique and fun and interesting? Why would I want take a look at it. Well, one, I haven't used a messenger bag in a few years, but two, the more important thing here, this is a multifaceted bag. So just taking a quick look at it, first and foremost, obviously, it's a messenger bag. You know, you've got this flap that opens up on the top where you can stick your stuff. The inside compartmentalization is a little bit limited. You've got this little, very thinly padded divider here in the middle, a small, almost what I would call a sleeve, a flap here in the back, where you could technically put a laptop, but not a 15 inch laptop. So my 15 inch MacBook Pro is in here, does not fit in there. My 13 inch MacBook Pro does. So I've just been putting the MacBook Pro here behind that this main padded section. But the one thing you might actually notice if you're looking at this, this interior material is kind of shiny, kind of reflective, because this is not just a messenger bag. This is a cooler bag. I think I said that earlier. But this is a bag you could use for your everyday carry bag at work, but you could also put cold things in it. And there is this little divider in here in the middle, so you could put cold beverages up here in the front and then have them sort of separated. This divider does not go all the way to the bottom, so don't put anything that's going to leak or be wet on the bottom. But that's like the main center section of it. And as you can kind of see, I can spread this out a little bit. There's a pretty decent amount of space down in here. It says it can hold up to 20 cans of soda or cola or beverage or whatever else you want to put in there. But then you get to the more interesting things about this bag. It is water repellent, so even the zippers and everything. They've got a, a video on the, the Indiegogo page showing you can pour water on it and even the, the zippers are water repellent, so it may not be waterproof. If you dropped it in the pool or something, it's probably not going to be waterproof. But if it starts raining on it, water should not make it inside through these zippers or through the material itself. And then as you can kind of see, there's another section here in the front, just more pockets and places to put things. So a little zipper pocket here, made of that same kind of material to keep it from getting water inside. Not exactly the same kind of material inside of this little area as there is in the main section, but it is padded and it is thick enough to, to be supportive. So as you can possibly see in there, I've got a bunch of cables and pieces and parts, things that I would normally carry in my backpack. That is one of the sort of unfortunate things about this. The way that I see it right now is that it doesn't really come with a whole lot of division or organization options. There's a few pockets, but there's not any real inside mesh, webbing, netting, anything like that to be able to subdivide things. But the cool thing about this little secondary area up here is that it's not just a part of this bag. It's a separatable fanny pack with a band that goes around the back here that you just unclip, unstrap it in several places. And then when it's all said and done, you have a fanny pack that you can carry around with you separately. So if you were wanting to go on a hike and you didn't want to take the entire big bag and you just wanted a small bag, again, this is not a cooler bag, just a fanny pack, but it does have a breathable mesh material on the back of it. it has a couple of little hook areas on the bottom you could hook into. And of course it's a fanny pack, so it just goes around your waist. But then when you're ready, you hook it back onto the bag, you zip it back into place, and then you've got the full messenger bag again. And what's more, I don't know if you noticed whenever I was flipping this around earlier, there's a couple of straps up here at the top. You can kind of do this and the, oh look, there's a little area here. This is if you want to attach it to the front of your bicycle. So you could hook it onto the handlebars and hopefully these are strong enough to hold the whole thing up. It feels like it is. This handle is a little bit thin, but it feels like the, the nylon around it is strong enough to hold on. This little section down here, I wasn't sure what this was for, but you can actually loosen all of this up and then pull this section of it up to attach to the front of the messenger bag strap so you can use it to sort of latch yourself in place. The strap for the messenger bag slash cooler area of it is easily adjustable. You just flip this little piece up and pull on it and it gets longer or shorter. And there's even a couple of straps here on the bottom in case, like I said, you're going on a picnic or something and you wanna put a towel or a blanket or maybe you're a photographer, videographer kind of person and you wanna put tripods on it. You could definitely probably work that out. Just strap it all down there and you're good to go. Now this does claim if you're using it as a cooler that it will keep things cool for up to 24 hours. I have not tested that. I have not had an, an opportunity to take this out and, and use it as a cooler yet, but that is just what they said. So I thought I'd go ahead and pass that along. But I did 
want to go ahead and get a quick video out about this because they've only got 30 days left on their Indiegogo campaign, and I think that's actually what's going to wrap it up. This is available in at least four different colors. It shows black, navy, red, and green, but then I've also got this heather gray color. It says the camo gray zoom trailer is designed for reflective material, so maybe there's more than just the four colors. There might be like five or six colors, and it is available through Indiegogo. There's an exclusive campaign perk that is $39 shipping in May, and as you can see, I've got one here in front of me, so they have them ready to go. It does feel very solid. I have been using this for a couple of days to go to and from work, carrying my stuff to work, and I carry entirely too much stuff. I mean, I have my MacBook Pro and then also the HDMI monitor that I made the video about the other day, and cameras and tripods and other things just for fun. But I think that's going to wrap it up. So head on over to their Indiegogo campaign if you're interested. What do you think about it? Do you think this is a worthwhile investment? Would you use something like this? I definitely like the material. I like the color. I like the idea that I could pack this up and take it to the beach or take it on a hike or a trip with the family and carry beverages or cold sandwiches or whatever else you wanted to put in there, but still have the flexibility to empty it out, put all my work stuff in it, and take it to work the next day. Having a multifunctional device like that is very cool in my opinion. But let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up down below. And if you're new here, if you have not already, hit that subscribe button if you want to get notified whenever I put out new videos. You can also ring the notification bell. They've got a few different options for how often you get notified and the ways you get notified and everything. So if you want to get notified when I put out new videos, I've got several more coming in the very near future. And then a lot more from now on until the end of time. Hit that notification bell and I will see you again very soon.